And I would urge President Ruto, I have an idea. In the future, when you allocate money to all those government sectors, within a short time, they need to report back how, what they've done with their money and then publish that on social media, on the newspapers, wherever, so that the outgoing money, after a while, is going to be reported what the projects are that have been finished or uh, the status of those projects so that the people can see because uh, things have been hidden in the past. Hello and welcome to African Living Abroad. I am Jamhuri and I'm here to share my international experiences, build bridges between cultures with the hope of making the world a better place. I am a social observer, an interpreter of social events, a commentator and a storyteller. If President Ruto is very, very smart, which I think he is, in terms of intelligence. He will see that the Gen Z revolution is his blessings in disguise. Because these demands that the Gen Zs are making are helping him get back to his uh, political platform that he promised the people during his campaigns. He was very clear on his mission and along the way he lost, he lost touch. And so this Gen Z movement is a reminder for President Ruto. And I like to say, if you have ears to hear and eyes to see, you will see what the times are about and what these messages are about. So I would encourage uh, President Ruto to get back quickly, get back on the horse. Okay, ride, ride to your original destination. R get back to your hustlers. Um, redemption, I would say, because the hustlers that you promised and glorified in the beginning and who voted for you are now checking you out. They are calling you back. And there's a very, very uh, small window for you to get back. You have made some uh, great changes lately. Very, very good. And you can see throughout the country of Kenya that everybody is happy of course except your enemies your real enemies and uh, so this uh, the role of gen c is becoming very very clear and uh, you would be hearing more and more that um that this movement is a spiritual movement the underlying theme of this is the spiritual and uh, people may see it just on the surface. And those who see it on the surface will think um, these are just a bunch of rebellious youth, spoiled youth. They have no guidance. They don't know what the old people know. No, no, no. That's where we go wrong. We cannot undermine this uh, movement if we look at it from spiritual eyes. Okay? If you have ears to hear, eyes to see. I think that is what my message is lately. Another very, very important way to view the Gen Z revolution is that it is revolutionizing societies on many levels. Let's talk about Kenya itself. It's revolutionizing Kenya within to the core, to the core of what the people have been crying about for, for decades, okay, for centuries. It's the liberation of, Af of Kenya, Kenya herself. Secondly, it is the liberation, liberation of Africa in general. And I did two videos about Africa, critical questions for Africa and why Africa hasn't been rising. And now it's the opportunity for Africa to rise. And there is a clue how Africa is going to rise. If only we look at, take the time to scrutinize the works and the revolution in Mali, in Nigeria and in Burkina Faso. That is where Africa is going. And it costs so much for the leaders to decide to go there. And I think that's why many old dogs, old leaders are resisting. Because it means you will lose a lot of privileges. First of all, you lose the power because the old powers are not going to hold anymore. You cannot put uh, new wine in old skins. Okay, That's why I'm saying this is very uh, spiritual. We have enough... enough uh, information about uh, new changes okay so the old wineskins cannot 
all uh, hold the new wine. And so Africa is awakening. And this is this time is so crucial. And you cannot fight this resistance. And we just Africa needs to ride this. Okay? It is an opportunity. And uh it is a God-given opportunity. And sometimes when you miss an opportunity, you will have to start all over again. And it's it's immensely heavy. So look at the birds, learn from nature. The bird soar easily when they fly in the direction of the wind. Okay? Or yourself when you're walking in a on a windy day. If you walk against the wind, you break your umbrella. Okay? And thirdly, um, it serves also to to libera liberate Kenya and Africa from its international, uh, <laughs> sorry, foreign powers that ha that are very far and also uh, very very close uh, in the region. And I'll give you a clue. For instance, um, a country with a blue and white in their flag. I think it's very uh, powerful in Africa. Okay. This is a time of revelation, and I said this in my uh, recent videos uh, about the power, the secret power behind Gen Z. This is a time of revelation that we know what are the intricate workings of the political systems, especially coming from uh, the foreign, foreign powers that have infiltrated Africa to the point of paralysis. These have to go. And when talking about this, this is the reason why many old African uh, presidents will not take the change. Because it, it, it is included, you know, <laughs> their positions are, um, is tied to benefits, okay, that they, they get. In one video, I used a very graphic um, picture to describe how African leaders have sold out Mother Africa. And I use, I uh, said, African leaders are pimping out Africa. That's a very, very, very tough message. To the highest bidder, okay? Mother Africa has been abused. She's been sold, you know? And, um, and, and the Western or foreign powers that are doing this, you know, buying Africa, the clients of these um, leaders, they are the ones fattening the corruption, fattening the corruption, the source of the corruptions. Why would people be multimillionaires within a short time? From poverty to multimillionaires. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, uh, this is not just from taxes. I think taxes have very little to do with it. And if you know the, the, the picture of pimps, I'm sorry to use that picture, but... You know, some of us have to use very graphic mess, uh, words to, to, to create pictures. And I see things in pictures, okay? So, Gen Z is uh, serving very many uh, a purpose and very, very layers, okay? To dismantle uh, very, very tough forces. The Gen Z movement is also cleansing Kenya and Africa. And maybe it will, it will go worldwide to cleanse on many levels, okay? One of them is politically, to get the right people leading the government, okay? I would say leadership. And we've seen that uh, now the country has come to peace at the moment because President Ruto has taken the deal, taken the dare to make drastic changes. And congratulations to you for that. Because for something to really change, you need a radical 360 60 degrees, what we also refer as a quantum leap. And you've done that. And please do not stop there. Secondly, socially. Socially, everything has to be rearranged. They have to be redone. And the people, we the people, that is the newest, the new uh, demand for leadership now it is not it is the with the people leadership and so socially things have to change in order to be people friendly okay not just for a few thirdly economically you know africa will have to rise or kenya has to rise when all the corruption is uh rooted out and so there's there comes prosperity through that fourthly 
financially and all these things are responsibilities okay so financial responsibilities and i would urge president ruto i have an idea in the future when you allocate money to all those government sectors within a short time they need to report back how what they've done with their money and then publish that on social media and the newspapers wherever so that the outgoing money after a while it's going to be reported what the projects are that have been finished or uh, the status of those projects so that the people can see because uh, things have been hidden in the past make it public and it's going to be easy for you okay what you promise publish it publicly and fifth oh fifth is um religious religious cleansing okay <laughs> the this revolution is also questioning uh religious leaders and also there is a deep deep corruption and if you see throughout the world you know there is a major fallout with the religious leaders because they've been also they've fallen so far away from the the message of spiritual the message of divine um the, the divine spiritual message and they have also fattened themselves they have sold the spiritual powers for money and we see the fall in usa wherever and in kenya as well so uh, they're not spared and i i believe that going forward and it's also happening now that divine messages are coming directly to the individuals and that is what is driving these uh, people now. And people are awakening to their intuitive, their receptive um, <laughs> system to the divine. And I predict that the, the middlemen are going, religious middlemen are going to be out, out of fashion. And sixth, oh, I don't have an extra finger to show, is um, as uh, simultaneously the youth or the Gen C is also undoing the neo-colonialism or the colonialism that had its claws into Africa deep 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 and uh, I think that Gen C please take this message and start to kick those people out okay they have no business in Africa because Africa doesn't go into their countries to to do what they have done in Africa and please watch my video about uh, why Af is Africa too immature to fly. It is in one of uh, in, in the playlist here. And Africa does not do that in other countries. Because even though Africa could do that, no, Africa doesn't. So they need to leave. We cannot uh, make changes and, and keep those, those uh, people. No, the systems have to go. And I think they're in a panic right now. And they're... they're <laughs> Their puppets are kind of changing, you know. They're awakening, being held responsible. And I would really, really encourage also, and one thing that I have a question for uh, Gen Z, okay? The problems that President Ruto inherited are immense, okay? The bankruptcy of Kenya. And you dumped it all on President Ruto. You didn't mention the past government. And you know what that past government did to Kenya, how Kenya was ransacked, okay? And uh, you left that, that sector untouched. I think it's time also to, to mention them, okay? Because uh, Ruto, <laughs> I know you were selected for a time like this, but you're bearing the sins of so many, the sins of so many, and you're doing it with grace, I would say and uh, i appreciate you for that appreciate you for that so going forward please remember what i've challenged uh, the gen c to do right now and uh, ruto just president ruto keep soaring keep soaring and see this revolution as for you it is not against you really as i said in my previous video there is a broken relationship and broken promises between you and the people you got out of touch with the people get back to the hustlers because that is that is uh, the, the power going on right now and it is your opportune time opportune time to capture that and do not fear what the rest of the cabinet are going to do okay their time is over the, these are crutches you cannot carry it is time for new wine in new wine skins 
If you like this message, if you like this challenge, if you resonate at all, please, I would appreciate comments, even critic criticism. That's okay. I can take that. And uh, like this video, share it, and subscribe um, to my channel. That's it for today. Thank you so much.